Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Things. Guess what, you guys? I've been tagged. Yes, I've been tagged by Terry E01, who is, uh, that's her YouTube channel. That's Terry on YouTube. Yes, I've been tagged uh, with a, um, let's see, getting to know you tag. Yes. Um, yeah, so I have to answer four questions, and then I have to tag five people. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to tell you a little about me and why, wow, I do that. I am going to sit here and actually uh, work on some. I'm doing my fairy gardens. And I want to send these out to people, so I am going to work on it while I sit here and chat with you guys. Um, this video, it, it has four questions that we need to answer. And what I want to do is limit my questions to, uh, questions and answers to, well, um, crafting. Yeah. So, I am actually going to work on this while I chat with you guys. And then I'll tell you, well, as you can see, I am actually making this um, friendship umbrella. I'm decorating it. I want it to go out this week, hopefully today, if I finish up. The little stuff that needs to go in the friendship umbrella. I am going to put it in the mail and send it out today. And then I could start another one. Yeah, because anywho, uh, I'm going to limit my questions, I mean my answers to crafting. Yeah, because this could go on and on. But just a little about me first. Okay, I um come from a large family. I have six sisters and two brothers. I also have two grown children. And I am a grandmother of five children. Yes, love them dearly. Um I I've been crafting most of my life that I know of. And, uh, yes, I am, yeah, when I say most of my life, I'm 60 years old, you guys. 60! You know, when you get to that age, you think, wow, I'm 60. <laughs> I actually say that to people. You know, when they, they're, they're talking, and I said, well, I'm 60. <laughs> they're like, people usually don't want to tell their age. But, okay, I'm very comfortable with my age because I look back from time to time. And, um, yes, I'm, I'm really comfortable with being 60 years young. Yes. Um, I come from a military family. My father was military, and I was military for the first 16 years of my career. And then I went into the federal government. So I'm now presently in the federal government. I worked for the federal government for 24 years now. So I can say, yes, I can say this. I will be retiring real soon after 40 years of service. Yes. OMG. Am I excited or what? And that's not to include those... A uh, few years of working when I was in high school and in college, you know. So, yeah. I've been working now for 40 years. So, woohoo. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's a little about me. And if you have any other questions, just, yes, do what you do in the comments. Just ask them. I'll answer them if they're not too personal. <laughs> No, I'll answer your questions. I don't think you'll ask me questions that are too, too personal. Um, I have uh, four questions that I have to answer. And the first one is, what are, what three things are you good at? And like I said, I have to 
first look at it in the aspect of my personal life. In my personal life, I'm really good at being a friend. And the reason I could easily be your friend is that I treat people the way I want to be treated. Or I feel that I should be treated as a friend. So if you do that, then it's, it's not a whole lot of guesswork. You already know how you don't want to be treated. So if you don't want to be treated like that, you don't treat other people like that. Um, I think because I understand that people are who they are. If I accept them as a friend, then I'm accepting them for who they are. So I'm not looking for a friend to change them or for them to be a certain kind of way. Be you. And as far as... Uh, um, how that applies to my crafty life. I always say in the crafting arena, just do you. Uh, sometimes when I'm doing crafts or, or not crafts, uh, swaps or challenges and somebody asks me, well, what should I do for this? Or you said, or someone said, do this. What should I do? And my best answer for them is just do you. Do you. And whatever you create is going to be yours. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so just do you let those creative juices flow? And that's in my, um, one of my headlines things, I don't know, on my blog and on my YouTube, you know, the description thing. And I say, just let those creative juices flow. Yeah, and you'll be amazed at what you come up with. Um, I love sharing. And I'm not talking just material things. Now, I have loads and loads and loads and loads, and can I say loads again, of crafting goodies. Uh, I'm not talking just sharing that because I, I don't have a problem with sharing those kind of things. They're material things, you know. But... Um, I'm talking about ideas, sharing your ideas, uh, putting them out there so others can see. Maybe you can in, uh, inspire them somewhat. Um, knowledge of crafting. If I know it, ask me. I'll share it. I'll share it. I don't have a problem with it. Crafting, there's not a secret. For me, there's no secret to it. If I know how to do it and someone asked me a question about it I am so willing to share yeah so I don't have a problem this looks like two different blues but by the time I finish with it those blues are going to kind of, of you know Fused together. So this is Rick Rack that I'm using. I purchased this from Paper Mart. Yeah. And I don't think it's a little of nothing for how many yards? 25 yards. Wow. That's a lot, huh? Yeah, but I don't think I paid much for it. But yeah. Um, so yeah. Sharing is something that I do well. And... I'm telling you, if it's from the heart, you don't have a problem with sharing. Um, another thing I do well is organize. I can organize like nobody's business. Uh, and I think that comes from my military background. Because, first of all, if, you, if you, you're in the military, you learn structure first. You learn structure and order and... Um, yeah, if you spent a, a number of years, I'll say at least four years in the military, you're going to learn structure and order. I think that is uh, th the first thing you learn in the military is structure and order. So I think that organizing is um, something I got from... Probably, and I have to say this from my father too, because he was also in the military and there were just order in the house. 
there was structure there. There were certain things that you could and couldn't do. There were a time to play and a time to clean and you just learn it. Yeah, so, and you apply it to your life. So, yes, organizing isn't a hard thing for me. And sometimes I have to start over or do it a certain way. But, yes, I organize very well, I have to say. Now, here is the second question. Which YouTubers inspire you the most? Well, without naming names, because I think sometimes... I'm not a clickish kind of person, and this is a positive video, so you guys, yeah. So, I think when you start naming names, it, it, it really turns people off. And then, because we're on YouTube, I think that matters. Would you look at that little birdie I put right there? I have to say, each one of these are going to be so very different. And I... I'm making it like I made my granddaughters, and I've made one other person this already. Um, yeah, but if you see this right here, I don't have any more light blue. Or either I organized so much, I put it up somewhere and don't know where it is. So I have to go back to Michael's this morning and get some more light blue Chanel stem so that I could make this like a basket. But yeah she'll have to look like she's in the forest yeah but anyway um i have to say that the youtubes youtubers that inspire, inspire me the most i have to say that most youtubers inspire me yeah um without just naming them i'm going to take this little green stem off the back of these because some of these I actually want them to look like little flowers there yes I'm gonna take the little stems off of them I have to buy more blue you guys because um and I hate ordering from well I don't hate ordering from paper mark I like paper mark but their shipping is kind of on the lopsided side um and you have from Paper Mart, not from Paper Mart. I get these from Cheap Trims. Their yeah, their shipping is ridiculous, and you have to order a minimum of sixty-five dollars worth of stuff. So I think I'm gonna put in an order and just order. I have loads and loads of pink ones and purple ones, but I don't have blue and yellow. So I'm going to have to order $65 worth of these things um, just so that, because there's nothing else that I want from them right now. But I do use these a lot, so I'm going to have to actually place an order for those. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, I watch videos because mainly I'm looking for inspiration. And sometimes I just want to see what another person do. I watch videos for so many different reasons. I, I watch videos too. And and um, YouTubers inspire me for so many different reasons. Like, uh, I like to watch YouTubers for what they're making. Um, and a lot of times it's for when they're making what they're making. Like, for instance, seasonal. I look for Christmas stuff. If I'm doing Christmas stuff, I look for Easter stuff. If I'm doing, you know, Easter stuff, uh, it depends on what I'm looking for when I watch uh, videos. Sometimes it's, it's the new items that come out. How are they using it? Uh, what are they doing to it? Which ways are they creating with it? I just watch videos. Uh, and if it inspires me, then boom, that's a good thing, right? Um. And then, too, the way they make stuff. If, if a, a person makes something a certain way, you tend to go back to their video to see how they made it. Now, most channels that I watch are channels that share the same love for crafting as I do. I love those channels that share. Um, I, I love those channels that share their ideas. And in sharing them, they welcome Everyone that has 
other ideas using their ideas. I like that kind of YouTuber. And I can tell you a few stories. Uh, but this is a positive video, so I'll go get over that. But in saying that, I have to say, being, um, being the crafter that I am, and in watching videos, I am very careful. I try to be really careful about using other people ideas especially and it's hard to find something that's not already out there so usually ideas come from others you know other ideas um it's almost like uh well we won't even go into that but yeah other ideas come from it's just an extension of some other idea those are the com kind of videos i like i could uh i like watching videos that inspire me to make something not copy it but make it because they made it or used the item or used an embellishment or just came up with an idea but I like to make it mine I don't like to copy um, and if I copy if I like something just the way they made it if I copy I'm going to tell you this video inspired me and this is what I made. Um, yeah, so I'm fine with that. But I do know that all videos that I watch are people that make stuff are not fine with that. And that's okay. Just, uh, you don't have to tell me. I could pretty much figure it out for myself by the way you respond to me or the action that you show me. So, but I do love, love, love inspiration from other videos and most other videos that I watch so yeah um, the third question is what are you excited about in real life I'm excited about life in general um, I, and I guess because where I am right now in my life I can see retirement oh my gosh and though it's the end of my working career. It's the beginning of another part of my journey. And that's what I see when I think about retiring. I just think to myself, oh my gosh. For the last 40 years, I've been working. I mean, I've been working for 40 years of my life. So right now, when I look back and I could see all that I've accomplished over these 40 years... That makes me feel good. Um, I mean, 40 years, wow. And though I haven't had uh, any bumps, or a lot of bumps, I've had bumps in my career. Um, but I had to rethink it. I had to, you know, change it up. I had to do whatever I had to do. But... Uh, I think all in all, and I made it this far, I am so, so, so excited about um, my retirement. Now, I look forward to the journey of the next stages of my life. And since I especially planned for this, that really, really really i mean you re you plan for your retirement you don't just like and especially these last 10 years it's like okay what do i need to do to retire this year uh do i need to you know switch money around do i need to you know you think about all this stuff so you plan it along the way um do i need to put money here take it out here do i need to all that all that comes into play and when you think about the fact that you're planning for that you you're just happy that when you when at the end of your journey you are just about the same place financially um going out as you would be if you were still working so 
Yeah, I'm very, very excited about my retirement right now. I just keep thinking to myself, wow, 40 years. And it comes so fast. That's the funny thing about it, because I remember starting off or going to retirement seminars and, you know, just looking into what you need to do as far as, as um, you know, changing the way you do things or going to your financial planner and saying okay this is what I need I want to do what do I need to do you know all that and then you get to the end of that and you think whoo good only a few more years um another thing that I'm excited about are my children and my grandchildren and I have two children my son and my daughter my daughter is, she has about five more years of military service before she retires. I look at her life and I'm so excited for how she's planned her life and how it's going and how she's, you know, looking ahead. I'm really, really excited about that. And I'm excited that she continues to plan her life accordingly. You know, she'll say, and she'll even ask questions. Okay, Mom, once you got out of the military, and I said, that is your guaranteed set income. Now you need to find something else that you can actually do to, you know, increase your income. Um, retirement in your first... I called it my first career. Um, it's great. And then you go on with your journey. And uh, she's looking at what she needs to do after she retires from the military. And she's five years out, but she's planning ahead. And I'm proud of that. I'm excited about her getting out, for one, because with all this going on, I just want her to go ahead and retire get out, be done with it. Now, my son, he's with Microsoft. And I'm excited about his life because he's just, uh, he, he is just adopted another baby. And it's actually 18 months after, well, they had her, they had little Jade for about two months now. So, um, I think four was probably 14 months, maybe 16 months by the time they got Jade. So, yeah, <laughs> they adopted a new baby with a new baby. Um, and then the fact that he went from one child to three child children just like that, I was like, oh, my, is that going to be a lot for you? And they figured it out. I'm excited about their lives um, because... I don't know, I'm just watching them as they manage each stage of their life. And they have questions and they hit bumps in the road and they decide this is what they're going to do. But I'm excited for them. I'm excited for them um, mainly because they're so happy with, with what it is they're doing right now. So that excites me. Yeah. Um, and my grandchildren, oh my gosh, with all this going on... Um, I am so happy that they have structure in their lives. Yeah. So that makes me happy. And then on, and that's on a personal note, on a, and this is excited um, as far as crafting. I'll get to that after I tell you I'm excited about a trip that I'm going on in June. I am going to Punta Cana in Dominican Republic. And I'm excited about that because this is the first year that I'm actually traveling with my mother's side of the family. And she's no longer with us. But I am so excited to spend uh, time with her family. So, yeah. And then when you look at it on the crafting side, you know what excites me? Crafting and showing you the ideas that I come up with and showing you what I enjoyed about a craft that I'm doing. That excites me. And then the last question, number four, and I know this is a long video. You guys are probably through with me. What do you do to relax? I craft. I craft. I come down in my craft room. I create things. I might organize. I might watch YouTube videos. 
because YouTube videos inspire me. Um, I may, uh, I may watch five videos, probably more than that, in a night's nice time if I have a chance. And I just write down ideas that I would like to use, and then um, when I'm doing those, you know these little creations one of those ideas may pop up all i need to do is sit and watch videos sometimes i'll just come to my craft room and just sit here and write little notes and um yeah organize something because you're never done with organizing trust and then another thing i do to relax is watch movies when steven is here He's usually when he comes, he he comes to either just relax himself. Um, so, yeah, watching some movies with him because he likes movies. I enjoy that. You know, sometimes I just do not craft and I'll just watch movies with him. So I do like watching movies and, you know, I like the little romance movies and the, the Disney movies, the sing-alongs, all that kind of... I like those. I like happy movies. I don't do scary. Yeah. And then I like to read because I love reading. Yeah. I like words. I like words. I love reading. And I read a lot. So, yeah. Reading has to be one of those things that I really enjoy doing. And I do it every single day uh, because I commute back and forth to work. So... I'm usually on the metro, and yeah, I read. Now, there's five people that I need to tag, and I'm going to tell you why I tag these people. I tag them because um, I've been crafting with them. I've been collaborating with them. I've been swapping with some of them, but I don't know a lot about them. So, I want to get to know my... Uh, yeah, subbies or the people that I collaborate with or people that... Yeah, I just... I want to get to know them a little better. I'm hoping that this video tells you a little about me. But the first person that I am going to tag is Rebecca Creates. Um, I'm going to tag Dare to be Creative, Happy Scrappy 45, TT Scraps, and Nalinka Sims. And I'll put their information in the description box. I'll send them an email. Ask them if they want to play along with this getting to know you tag. Um, I hope they play along. But, you know, it's not. They don't have to. I'm just hoping that these five ladies play along. Because I'd like to get to know them. Um, my next video will probably be ideas that I came up with using some of the ideas that I actually got from um, projects that I've done or that they've done during a collab or a swap or something that I've done. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably do something like that and show you their idea, I'll tell you what their idea was and show you what I made using their idea. But yeah, um... I'll even come back and show you the final product with this right here. This is going out to just so you all will know. But she'll do a video, I'm sure, of it. Because when people send you happy mail, you do videos, right? Um, I'm going to send this to my girlfriend, Terry. I'm hoping to get this in the mail today. This is her friendship umbrella. And I'm going to fill it, finish putting the stuff in there. And I'm going to send that out to her. Thank you all for watching my video. I know it was long. I'm sorry for that. But um, yes, hopefully the next people or the five people that I named or tagged will do videos. So look out for those. Thanks for watching, everyone. Talk to you later. Bye.